On Sunday, we continued our series looking through Acts, thinking about empowered witness. And we're thinking about what it means to do mission together. We saw Paul and Barnabas, an amazing pair who are passionate for the gospel, who worked incredibly well together. Barnabas having grown Paul up from the early days of him being a Christian and growing him to surpass him. And think about what it means for us to be discipled and to disciple others as we go on mission. Something really easy to forget about when we're focused on the lost. Actually, we need to be ensured that we're growing our own faith as disciples, that we have those around us who are mentoring us, supporting us, challenging us, but also that we're doing the same for others. And when we're doing the same for others, that we're encouraging them to surpass us, be greater than us and what we're doing. But we also thought about what it means to disagree well when we do mission together. Because as we think about mission, conflict does come up, it's natural, and in some ways it's good. We should be like Paul and Barnabas, thinking about other people, and that means to think about other people's discipleship, or also think about other people who don't know Jesus yet. And they can often come into conflict. So we must be disagreeing well, always thinking about others, not our own gain or what we want, but what other people want. And that's what it means to disagree well. And we also thought about what are we willing to give up for the sake of others, for the sake of the lost. Like Timothy, willing to be circumcised so that he was respectful for those that went to hear him. Are we willing to sacrifice just so that other people have an opportunity to hear the gospel? Because that's what we're here and called to do, to go make disciples of all nations. And that means sacrifice. Sacrifice not just because we're Christians and we need to change how we live as disciples, but sacrifice so that other people might have a chance to hear the gospel. Thank you.